A man who jumped off the Golden Gate Bridge and survived is in our area now, hoping his testimony could save a life. Channel 3's Brian Didlake introduces us to Kevin Hines and the story he is sharing as part of Suicide Prevention Month. This purple ribbon that I'm wearing represents the pain and suffering by friends and family of those lost to suicide, which is the second leading cause of death in young people. One man says just by giving a listening ear can save a life. I, I wanted to reach back, but the rail was gone. I was in free fall. And I just prayed, God, please save me. I don't want to die. I made a mistake. At 19, Kevin Hines became one of 38 people to attempt suicide by jumping off the Golden State Bridge and survive. Today, he hopes his testimony will help others who are on a similar path. What you need to do when you have suicidal crisis is turn to someone who loves you, someone who cares about you, or someone who's willing to empathize and say, I need help now. Four simple but effective words. And if that person can't help you, you find someone who will. You find someone who does. You deserve to be here. You are intended to be here. This life has a purpose, and it's not to die by your hands. Three Tennesseans die a day from suicide. Across the country, suicide claims a life every 13 minutes. It's the second leading cause in death in young people ages 10 to 24. If you look at some of the posts that kids post to each other, they can be really mean. And you'll see different text post messages or things on Facebook or Twitter or Snapchat or whatever they're using today. You know, and somebody will say, I'm feeling suicidal. And the response they get back is, well, just kill yourself. Hines says the best thing you can do to help someone at risk is to listen. No matter if you're the one listening or you need someone to listen, both Hines and Arkin point to a statewide hotline to help. If you are in crisis or just want to find out more about suicide prevention, text TN to 741741. We have that number and more inside the WRCV app. Reporting in Hickston, Brian Didlake, Channel 3, Eyewitness News.